Hello, my name is Sue Smith and I'm a brand ambassador for Do Crafts and today I'd like to show you how to use Posca pens to decorate ceramic. Here I have a bowl and mug set that makes a lovely gift for somebody and I'll show you how to decorate them. I'm going to start off with the bowl and I'm using a tea towel to sort of support the bowl as I draw on it. Okay, to prime the pens to start with, you give them a good shake. These are pretty unique really because it's like paint in a pen. And they've got um, a clever valve and piston mechanism inside them. So we need to get this activated and just press the pen in so the nib disappears. And it increases the flow of the ink or the paint, I should say. Make sure they work nicely before you go ahead and draw on your china. Okay. To think about the design, you can plan it first on some tracing paper or paper, like I've done here, and you can sort of offer it up and see how it looks before you go ahead and do your design. I like nature and daisies and leaves are the theme for this pattern. Okay, so I'm going to start with the daisies with my finest pen, which is a PC1M size. Okay, so begin by doing the centre of the daisy and then take two petals either side and then fill in three petals as you go on each side and then randomly do another daisy to fill up the space that's it they glide on beautifully these pens okay and then i'm going to draw the leaves again random anywhere Add a teardrop shape and add some veins. That's it. Swivel the bowl around so you can comfortably draw as you go. Okay. And then a clever way to fill in some of the gaps, take the same pen again is to draw swirly patterns coming out of the daisies. And this sort of creates movement in the pattern. I've done three swirls to each daisy, filling in the gaps, different directions. And then another trick is to add just some three dots, groups of three dots with the thickest pen which is a PC5M and you can go ahead and do three dots in all the other little spaces to fill up the pattern until it's all covered and then you can go ahead and do the gold rim this is a PC3M so it's a middle sized pen I love this gold that's it draw on the inside first, colour it all in and across the top of the bowl as well. Gives you that nice opulent design and go all the way round. And then that's that completed and just set it aside to dry. Okay, and I'll show you how to do the mug. This is um, sort of ties in with the same pattern using the leaves and daisies, but it's more of a structured design this time. And it's all working from the bottom up. So I've taken the thickest 5M pen. That's it, and I'm going to start off at the handle and do semicircles all the way around the bottom. Try and keep them as evenly as you can. And then building up the pattern again with some dots. 
top and bottom of each semicircle. And then you can just put an extra dot in between. And then bring the dots up at the point, highest points there. Okay, that's the thick pen done. And then go back in with the thinner one. Do another little dot and a fine dot. And then this gives you the space to then draw the leaves in. And the gaps there. So carefully draw those in. As before, add the veins. So filling up those gaps. I mean, if you do make a mistake, it can be easily wiped clean and then you can start again. That's no problem. There we go. Just do one more just to show you the pattern. And then we can draw our daisies in. Start off with the centre of the daisy. So that gives you an idea of where they're going to be placed. Again, do the two petals either side, they're longer, and then fill in with the three. And then soon it'll build up a lovely decorative pattern. Okay. Last one on here just to give an idea. And then just add a couple more dots up here just to fill in those gaps, make it look busy. So when you've done this all the way round, we can then go in with the gold pen. Make sure that's working. And we're going to fill in the semicircle areas a bit of gold to match the bowl. Fill these in, colour these in. Leave a white gap between the gold and the blue. Do that all the way round. And then we can write someone's name across the top. Just in single thickness. Just your own handwriting's fine. I've gone for the name Heather. That's it, have it flowing across the mug. And then I've added a little flourish either side just to extend the look of the name, like so. To, to um, fix these onto the china, all you have to do is to bake it in an oven at 160 degrees for about half an hour. And you can also cover it with a varnish as well. I mean, they're not really probably suitable for eating out of. The mug you could use because there's, there's no paint there. But the bowl, this will be just for decorative purposes. Okay, thank you for watching.